Celtics defender search switches. In pole position, Celtics defender search switches to Argentina. Celtic are reported to be interested in a 4 million euros deal for Fabricio Bustos. For over a week a move for Aurelio Buta has reportedly been at an advanced stage but there is still no sign of the Royal Antwerp defender joining the hoops. Angie Postacogla has refused to name transfer targets, at any stage other than saying that the club, has three players, in mind for each position but with less than four weeks of the transfer window to run Karl Starfelt, is the only defender to be added to the squad. We recently announced the interest of RC Lens for Argentine right-back Fabricio Bustos in the event of Klaus leaving. The latter having finally remained at the expense of Michelin party to AEK Athens, the Lensois leaders are no longer inclined to a strong investment in this position. Thus, the player was offered to other clubs including the Brazilian club Santos and Celtic Glasgow. The latter are currently in pole position to secure the services of the Argentine international whose club wants to obtain a little more than €4 million. Euros. Bustos has two full caps for Argentina and has spent all of his playing days with Independent, crucially his contract expires in June. Celtic have never had an Argentinian player, signing Bustos would likely require applying for a work permit but it does suggest that scouting has expanded outside of Europe. Bitter probably remains a more likely signing in respect of location and nationality, meanwhile, Tony Ralston continues at right-back with Celtic taking a big step towards the Europa League with a 4-2 win away to Jablinek yesterday. Hart's demand to Angie New boy Joe Hart demanded to fly to the Czech Republic to make his debut in the 4-2 win over Jablinek. Boss Andrew Postacogler has revealed the 34-year-old former England international keeper was so excited by his £1 million three-year contract move to the hoops that he wanted to be involved immediately. Hart quit Spurs and joined the new manager's Parkhead rebuild in a double deal with James McCarthy on Tuesday. The move was cemented after the squad had flown out, and Postacogler told the 75 times cap number one that he could stay in Glasgow to prepare for Sunday's home premiership match against Dundee with 24,500 fans allowed in the ground. But the netminder insisted on joining his new teammates right away in an effort to make his first appearance against the Czechs in the first leg of the third Europa League playoff tie. The Celtic FC boss admitted, I gave him a little bit of an option that he could stay back in Glasgow. But Joe made it pretty clear he wanted to come across and join in training immediately. I believe I have an exceptional player and an exceptional person.